Boom. Here we are once again <laughs> with Romeo. Good morning. Right. Good morning. Today's an important day, a big video. So I'm going to review your work. Okay, we're going to tighten up any loose ends. We're going to complete any details that are needed because after this video, it's time for you to get into the marketing aspect and start bidding out the marketing. So that way this weekend, this weekend, drum roll, brrr, Romeo gets cha-tings. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, getting fake. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So let me uh, share my screen so we can get started here. All right. Look at this. When I put it up, Zoom says, deliver happiness to your colleagues. Very cool. All right. So I want to get started, Romeo, by going into your Shopify page and seeing what you did from yesterday based upon that video that we, we just recorded yesterday. So I see as soon as I go to your homepage, you did grab your domain name. So congratulations. You're kind of official online with your business, Juliet'sModels.com. You've connected to your store. So well done there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to dismiss those tips. We don't need them anymore. You, you kind of completed the, the beginning steps there, and that's done. Scrolling down a little bit, just checking some things. Okay, your, your online store isn't open yet. Time for us to open your store. We got to disable the password. I'll show you where that is when we click on the button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because cause right now no one can see the store because it's password protected. You'll see password protection, enable password right here. I'm going to unclick that box and I'm gonna save that. Your store is now live. It is live and visible to the public. MG. <laughs> okay, now, now you could go into here. Look, right now you're, I'm under online stores. You see it to like online stores down to preferences. Uh, you wanna just create a homepage title and some description of your store. It's, it's not super important, but if, if anybody looks for you online under Google, you know, they could do an SEO search and, and actually find you and you come up. So just fill that in, homepage title and homepage description. Fill that in. Uh, later on, after we're ready to launch your Facebook ads, we'll attach your pixel here. So that way when we're running marketing through Facebook, it could see your store. We'll do that on the next video. Mm -hmm. For this video, just put in the, after the video, put in the homepage title, homepage description. That takes care of that. Okay. okay. Now, before I review your page and we make any final tweaks, I just want to go into settings and show you something that you want to make sure is correct before we launch the marketing. Going under shipping. So I went down to the settings tab with the icon wheel the cog wheel going over to shipping in this shipping. Okay. Right here. I want to manage rates. Okay. I want to tell Shopify because my page says that I want to charge $7 and 91 cents for anything that I'm selling under a, under one pound. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now. And we're going to market to the U S so I'm going under the U S which is domestic. And, uh, We'll do expedited. I want to edit that. Oh, that's for one to five. Okay, so right now it reads 690 for anything under a pound. Let's just change that, edit that rate to 791 since that is the exact dollar amount that is reflected on our store. So that's going to match. 791, done. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to save that. So now we know that's the shipping charge for the bear that we want to charge. And going up here to uh, settings once again, I want to go into payment providers. I want to make sure that my payment processing is attached correctly. Now, I don't have permission. I'm, I'm just a, a user. You made me an admin on your account so I could go in and, and make updates. But this section, you're going to have to check. See, it says you need to provide more information to start receiving payouts. So you are going to complete, this is very important after the video, click that complete Shopify payment setup, do whatever it says to do to make sure that it probably wants you to add a, a bank account. If you haven't already done that, add your bank account here. So that way 
when Shopify is accepting payments from you, you're able to receive those payments into your checking account. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so make sure that's done. It looks like it says your store accepts payments with PayPal Express Checkout. That's another thing, making sure that your PayPal account that you created is connected. So that way you have your customers have an option to just pay through Shopify or pay through PayPal. Those are two mandatory ways that you want to collect payments. There are other options, but just focus on the two mandatory ways, Shopify and PayPal Express to give them the two options when they check out. Okay, that's very simple. You just go here, click here to add your bank account, make sure that everything is complete and ready. You get your nice uh, green check marks. Okay, so, so take care of that right after the video. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we just reviewed the final details in our Shopify store. We're happy that everything is up to par, ready to go. So that way we can go into your app section and we're going to go into your funnel builders page, which I already have up. Okay, now here is the page that you created. Valentine's yeah. Day, Forever Love, Rose Bear, one of one. We're just going to run one page in to start just to get some sales, at least the first. Remember, there's two milestones we're going to shoot for. Milestone one is getting your first sale. Milestone two is getting to your 100 sales within 60 days because that's when your pixel goes from not knowing who to send your ads to to knowing precisely who to show ads to. Your pixel you know, really goes from being an infant to being a mature adult once you cross the 100 sale threshold. Opening up your page, the first thing I want to address going into settings, I always do this under SEO settings. I want to make sure that you have a page title, some description and image. You have that in there. Okay. Next, I noticed that you've changed your number. You, now you have a professional 800 number and a professional email. So congratulations there. You got that done. However, I am going to recommend a change. When we look at this page on a cell phone, this is going to be illegible. It's going to be way too small. You know, look at our template. So here's our template is the heart pendant 103. Look how big my 800 number and email address is. It's bigger than the header because I need this to be legible for people to feel comfortable. So I love your colors that you chose. I love your logo. I love your name. I love the details with the email and the phone number. However, you just have to increase the font. Okay. You'll, you'll see it on your page how small. You, you made it very, very small. So increase that font. So that way it becomes legible on a mobile phone. Later on this, on this video, we'll be able to view that on your phone. So that way you could see what I'm talking about here. Let me see if I hit preview now. Okay, even on, so this is your desktop view. You'll notice how little it is. It's way too little. So just make that bigger, possibly separate it. So it gets, it's longer throughout your page. Mine, I always, I, I make the logo and name all the way to the left and the contact information all the way to the right. So uh, if you want to play with the, the positioning and the font size of that section for your contact info, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Scrolling down. Look how nice everything looks now. Um, we, we went, we're going with the red bear. I know you're, you've created short videos using the red bear. So I want to tie that into your primary picture. Look how beautiful this is. This is beautiful. You have, and, and we got rid of the white border, the big white spacing that you had around your image. And, and that way we cropped it out. So now it's just the image itself. Look how beautiful the, the, uh, trust badge badges. They sit beautifully right under the image right there. Everything ties in right with size. We now have Juliet's models, five stars. Uh, we, we pulled how many five stars the, this product has uh, from AliExpress. So that way we put that in there. This is well put together. This all runs beautifully. You'll notice here's our price, our $99 list price with today only sale of 29 bucks. We're going to save 70%. Look, this actually works now. We click our drop down box. Look at that. Choose color. Here's our red, purple, pink, Tiffany, light blue. There's our colors. Our page is working properly. It's seeing our Shopify store. We could select our quantity, how many we want to sell. Buy now button looks fantastic. Color scheme 
with all the images, all the assets. I'm in New Jersey. You'll notice that the coding picks up where I'm located in New Jersey. There's my $7, $91 shipping. Uh, the estimated time frame, it's just, it's well put together. This is beautiful. Scrolling down, there's one of your images that you chose with the two bears. I love it. We have the forever love bear. Here's your descriptions. We broke up the description. Beautiful. Look how easy it is to read. This is fantastic. I get to see the details of my product, the size, the weight. You know, this is high quality. This is handmade. This is three-dimensional feeling. The pedals restore after squeezing. Uh, Forever Love Bear is not sold in stores. You have to get it here or you'll never get it at all. Uh, we added the emojis for the hearts to tie into Valentine's Day. What else we have? Uh, rose symbolizes uh, love, passion, romance. Nothing says I love you like our Forever Love. This is great content, great description. Here's our different bears that we have available for you today. We have our Tiffany, our purple, our pink, our red. That's all what's in our box. Uh, one thing I, yep. What color is the Tiffany? Right here is the light blue, purple, pink. What's Tiffany? I, I, I don't have uh, the picture. Okay, so since we don't have it, look what we're going to do. We're going to go into your product section and just eliminate Tiffany as an option, okay? Okay. For me, maybe I'm not that smart. I mean, I, I don't even know what the color Tiffany is. Maybe women do. Like a turquoise. Tur okay, so th so the light blue was that was that turquoise or light blue on your page? It's a light blue. Okay. Oh, here here's your turquoise right here. Here's your turquoise. So, uh, do you want to add your turquoise image to your page, or do you want to eliminate turquoise as an option? Your so choice. I, I feel like to eliminate it, like less options, it's better. Okay. Yeah, especially selling to men. So let's just delete that turquoise image out of there. All right, we're going to scroll down to our Tiffany. Okay, and let's just delete that guy. Delete variant. Boom. Okay, no more Tiffany. We don't want to confuse the guys out there. Because yeah. that, that confuses me. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany to me is a girl that I want to date. <laughs> all right, buddy. So now we're we're getting down the page. This is the final view. Look at beautiful. It all just sits so nice. Yeah. Everything is where it's supposed to be. It just feels right. Look at that. You got rid of the sponsored uh, name of the other company. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. We have it all together now. We move the image that was up there, the primary, down to the bottom again for our offer once again. There it is. Choose our color, colors. Choose our quantity. And then we could check out at the bottom. We have our 2020 Joyous Models All Right Reserved. Man, that looks good, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we could launch this sucker now. <laughs> when, when, when we're happy, when we're happy. Now, we, we put in the, the word hearts in there. So we just want to go into our discounts and see if we add it hearts. Okay, we don't have the discount code. So under discounts to the left, we have hearts. If they get shipping for $69, we want to add that in there. This is how we do it. Create discount code. All right, we want the word hearts. And we're going to give them free shipping if they spend over 69 bucks. They get free shipping anyway once they, they go over 79 I'll show you where that goes. So $69 of a minimal purchase gets you free shipping. When they enter the code, hearts. Okay, now check this out. That's, that's successful. So we have our discount code. I want to go down to settings in the corner. I want to go back to shipping. Because remember, we're giving free shipping if somebody spends over 79 bucks. So I believe that is under manage rates. Okay, right now we have free shipping for $50 and up. So we're just going to edit that. 
and we're going to put $79 for a minimal price, get you free shipping without having to put in the code hearts. Are you with me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm on the same page with my uh, laptop. Here. Okay. So I saved that for you. It's done. Look, $79 and up, you're going to get free shipping for our bear because it's under a pound. It's going to ship for $7.91. We are good there. And our final piece of the puzzle before we can go live, okay, we have to take our page and create the funnel. Meaning that we want them to be able to click the button, the buy now button that takes them to either the upsell and the downsell or to our checkout page, right? Right. Okay, so just scrolling through, everything looks beautiful. I am happy. I hope you're happy. I know, I'm very happy. Okay, so I'm going to just exit out of there. Now, these are the pages. You have not created any funnel yet. We're going to go over here where it says add new funnel. I'm going to choose the page that we're going to input. Or I'm sorry, we have to give it a name. We're going to call this our V-Day Love Bear Or we'll just do love bear funnel. V day love bear funnel. Create funnel. If you want to change that, you can. No big deal. I'm trying to just get us moving along here. Let's move this up a little bit. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to, we already created our landing page. So we're going to hit add page. We're going to choose from our drop down box. We're doing Valentine's Day Forever Love Bear one of one. I select it. Save and next. Next, we're going straight to checkout. There's Right now, we're, we're telling it we want it to go from our page right to Shopify checkout once they click the Buy Now button. Down here, I'm going to hit Save Settings. Okay. Now, again, once we have our pages ready to go, our marketing ready to go in Facebook, Here's where I'll put the Facebook pixel. We'll get into that in another video. For this video, I just want to have us all ready for our launch with the marketing. Notice right now, this is your URL. This very long URL is to your funnel. Mm -hmm. I, want to hit the, I want to hit the copy button. So I copy that long URL. We went over this in a previous video. We're getting to see it again here. You go over to your Shopify store where it says online store, you click it, you go down to navigations. This is going to be the final piece of the puzzle before we can mark it. Navigations right here, URL redirects. Okay, create URL redirect. All I'm doing down here, I'm going to control V, which is going to paste the long URL. And for this, campaign for this marketing i just want to call it forever love because we're selling the forever love bear this all ties in together i'm going to save that redirect now this might take a minute so we might have to wait a little bit but let's wait a few minutes we'll go over some other things and you'll be able to go on your cell phone within a minute or two and i want you to type in juliet'smodels.com backslash forever love when you do that for the first time ever you're going to see your very first page your very first funnel on your phone live let's let's just check it out now and see if it already populated if not we'll wait a couple minutes i'm going to do it with you we're typing in juliet's models.com slash forever love go and we are live ladies and gentlemen we can see romeo's page and funnel completed start to finish <laughs> brother oh there it is from start scroll down look how nice now you'll notice at the top see how your 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 call us phone number and email it's legible 
So it's not bad. It's just a little too small. I feel if you could just make it a little bit bigger, it'll, it'll sit nicer. Okay. But you have, you know, the header looks good. The GIF, the image, beautiful. That, that red bear just really pops. It pops at me when I look at it. It pops. Your trust badges, forever love rose bear, all the information. And there's a clock is ticking. I could hit the drop down box. There's now the, the drop down box. You can't see Tiffany as an option. Beautiful. Choose your quantity. Everything is sitting where it's supposed to be. Man, this is a beautiful page. I'm wow. excited for you, brother. I'm <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That looks. Now, now the, the pink, if you notice the, the pink bear, the other ones, the purple one is sitting properly in the square, but you'll notice the pink is elongated. So we just have to fix uh, that, that one section. You'll notice the pink and the blue, it's not sitting properly square. So that's just a matter of adjusting the. Okay. The we're going to do, do that very simply by duplicating that purple bear image. I'll do it for you just because it's so quick and easy. I'll just duplicate the, the purple bear and then switch out the image with pink and blue. So they'll sit properly. And next you go into your satisfaction 30 day. Some reviews there. And then it finishes strong with the box again. Okay, so other than just changing, I know the people that are watching this video, you can't see it. It's just... Uh, the pink bear, it, it sits elongated because of the way the image is laying on the phone. So that's your final piece is just checking your phone with your page to make sure everything just looks good to your eye. Make sure it just, it's not stretched. It's not cut off. That's what I'm doing here. Very minimal adjustments that'll be done after this video. In fact, on the video, I'll just show you real quick what, what to do here. Uh, uh, let me see. <laughs> Going back to our dashboard, editing the one. So the pink wasn't sitting right. Let me just see if I save this picture. No big deal if it doesn't work here. I'll, I'll do it afterwards. It's a little bit harder when I'm on the call. So I'll save that image to my desktop. We know the purple was sitting correctly, so I just want to duplicate the purple bear by hitting the copy icon. There's the purple bear. I'm going to just grab it, move it up into the section with where the pink bear currently is. So this is simply drag and drop. Okay, so now you're going to see that I have the purple bear twice. I want to delete right here. When I go over the pink bear, I'm going to delete the pink bear that didn't sit right. And I'm going to swap out this image of the purple bear with the pink bear that I just saved. And this is, this is no big deal. If you, if this is hard for you, you know, you're going to be part of the inner circle where you can ask for support from whoever yeah. got you in and is helping you. Okay. So I just saved that. So now I'm just going to refresh your page and see now if the, all of a sudden now the pink bear sits correctly, it sits good. The purple bear sits good. So I just have to do the same thing with the light blue. So you'll get to see it again. We know that the purple sits right, so I'm going to hit copy that image. There it is. I'm just going to move it down to where I want the blue bear. I got to save the blue bear to my desktop. Then I'm going to delete the blue bear. Swap out the purple with the blue, and that will also sit properly. Going over to the bear I just saved, our light blue. Ooh. Exit, save. Save, okay, now you just refresh your screen on your phone. Pink, so we got red, pink, purple, and blue all properly sit 
in a right it's a perfect square for each of them yes there's a little extra space uh, right here that that's just because of that image if if you wanted to make that space a little bit less so it's kind of the same space as, as the top what you would do is is just crop this image that that image just has a lot of white at the top you could possibly crop it a little bit if you want this is how we crop images so I would just save this picture to my desktop save I just open that up that image that I just saved I open it up in my photos now when I'm cropping images you'll see I, I always crop in a, a perfect square I'll show you where I do that so here I have an edit button when it opens in photos edit edit Okay, we're gonna crop aspect ratio. I wanna make a square. Pull that image up, look at that, boom. That's how we want it to sit. See how it's a perfect square? Make your image, you didn't have a perfect square here. Make your images a perfect square each and every time, okay? Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna save that. Now you're gonna see it sit better on the phone and on the desktop because you're not gonna have that big white space at the top. So I'm just going to exit out of that, reopen, after I go through and find it here, here we go. So now here's your page. I'm just going to swap this image out. So I just hit the little cog wheel, click the little upload cloud to choose my new image, find it on my desktop. Boom save that now when you look at that image on your desktop you're not going to see that big white space between that image and the satisfaction 30-day risk-free guarantee i just hit the refresh oh man it's it's perfect i know you can't really see it online uh, if you're watching the video but it all just it sits right you at home uh, whoever is watching this video you could go to romeo's page just always leave this page up romeo uh, for anyone to ever view it it's juliettsmodels.com slash forever love. You'll see how beautiful everything sits for Romeo on the page. Here we go, buddy. So we got to, to make some uh, minor adjustments. You never know. That, that could equal extra sales just because it sits well on the page. People like the images that they see and that might trigger them to buy. You never know. It's kind of cool. You got the little Santa Claus things here. Like, okay, well, you know, they, they bought these for Christmas time as gifts. So why not, you know, get yours for Valentine's if you didn't get it for Christmas. So I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exit out of there. We're done, buddy. So pages are, are live now. They look very nice. Are you happy with the pages? Are you happy with what we've done to get us to this point to launch the marketing? I'm very happy. I'm very, I'm excited. I'm very happy. I'm like, I want to learn about the ads and everything, you know, it's just like, so happy. As soon as uh, we're done, I'm going to do all the, you know, PayPal and everything else. Yep. These minor adjustments. You want to fix because remember, remember when, when we set our ads up to launch, we don't have them launch right away. We schedule them with a specific day and time to launch and it's going to be early morning. So today is Wednesday. I feel comfortable to launch live on Friday morning at 5 a.m. Because remember, I, I've talked about this in, in a different video. It, it actually might be the video that you watch after this video. If you're tuning in, it's the video where I, I talk about uh, the running ads next, where you're going to create after this video, because tomorrow's call, I want us to be able to review your work. So you do have the time later today to actually get your Facebook ads manager up and create your first campaign, correct? You, you have the time to do that over the next 24 hours? Um, yes, yes, I, I can do that. Okay, so so just to recap from 
uh, that video about running ads, what you're going to focus on is creating one campaign, 30 to 50 five dollar ad sets with three to five ads in each ad set i've already went over that in depth for that video so i'm not going to do it here i'm just sharing what i want you to do next for our call tomorrow at 11 a.m so schedule that out those ad sets you'll schedule it to launch friday at 5 a.m because like i said on that video you're going to want once we go live you're going to want to let it sit there for three days straight. That's gonna give your pixel, you're gonna have a brand new pixel. This is gonna give your pixel three days to mature. Get your first sale under your belt and allow the pixel to start identifying who your age range. We know that we're gonna target men, but this will, if you give it a broad range of say 30 to 55, let's do 30 to 55 for your age range for your men. Running it the first three days will allow Facebook, allow your pixel to start identifying out of that age group, what age group is is your target, where you're going to spend the less amount of money to get sales. So it's our only for men, only for men. Yep. So we'll target men. Let's do ages 30 to 55. Or yeah, that that sounds good. 30 to 55 to start. We could always make changes as we go. At least this gives us a starting point to see uh, who's who are our buyers. We got to start identifying who our buyers are because we're a brand new store, brand new pixel, brand new pages, brand new um, uh, product. All these are brand new. So we need to launch some stuff for Facebook to see who our buyers are. That takes at least three days to get things going. So we're going to run our initial marketing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the goal of getting some sales under our belt. Uh, again, after this call, one campaign. It's going to, and, and because we're scheduling it to launch Friday at 5 a.m., today is Wednesday morning. We're going to be able to, so don't, don't be nervous if you have things wrong. We're going to go in our next video. We're going to go in and actually make changes to what you've done so that way it's properly set up. But I just feel doing a video where we're doing it together live and recording it allows us to you know, be able to see the trial and errors of what's, what mistakes are made in the beginning what needs to be corrected. I know, I know that you already created two videos. You've created a very short video of the bear. I want you to use that video along with your second video where you created the emotion of boyfriend giving it to bear or giving a uh, boyfriend giving it to girlfriend. And uh, I believe you were at under 15 seconds for the one video, under 30 seconds for the second video. So we're gonna run those two videos Remember, in an ad set, we're going to create three to five different ads. So one will be the short video. The second will be the longer video. The third one, I just want you to do an image of the red bear, a straight image, no video for that one. Okay, so just to recap, we're going to have three different videos or three different ads that we're launching within each ad set. One is going to be of the red bear. One is going to be of your short video under 15 seconds that you create it. And the other one's going to be the short video under 30 seconds that you create it. For the ad copy, I want you to steal my ad copy. To make this easy for you, you know that for our Valentine's Day, me selling the, the love heart, I created four different ad copies. I want you to see what ad copy is working best for me and just copy it. So that way you don't have to recreate the wheel. You'll just copy it and switch out the link in there. Instead of the, the title being the heart, you're going to switch it out with your title being the love bear. I have hundred hours off. Yours is 70% off. So there's minor changes in the ad copy. But since we know that ad copy is working, I want you to use the ad copy, tie it into your product along with the three variations of your long video, short video, and your red bear image. Okay, I'll help you with this on the next video. I just want to see how you do with trying to do it on your own just based upon the video and hearing what I have to share. Is this too much information for you to have ready for our, I know you're, you'll probably have to go back to the, the video that talks about creating the ads. If you have to, pull that up on the left side of your screen. On the right side of your screen is where you'll actually do your work in making the changes, making the, the updates to your Facebook ads manager. 
to have your campaign ready to launch Friday morning, 5 a.m. We're pushing the go button with those ads with the goal of getting at least one sale on Friday and then more sales on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, yeah, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the other video, look it up, take it step by step and uh, create it. Now, you, you said you already have your Facebook page, your business page, Juliet yeah. Models. You already have that set up, so that step is done. So that way you'll see that in your drop down box in Ads Manager when it's time to create the ad, you'll see that you could select your page. Okay, mm -hmm. so again, th this next step, if you've never been in Ads Manager, it may be confusing for you. And the best advice I could give is simply open the video where I show you how to run Ads Manager, open it up on one side of your screen. On the other side is where you do the work. So now you're, it's almost like you, you start and stop the video that I created so you can just copy everything that I'm saying. So at the end of the day, you're going to end up with one campaign scheduled to launch with 30 to 50 different ad sets and three to five different ads within each of those ad sets. I talk about that in depth over and over and over in the building ads video. So uh, I really, I can't stress it enough to start there because it's just like playing a game of darts. We're just creating a lot of different ads to a lot of different audiences, which gives us a whole lot of darts to hit the bullseye on the very first try. And uh, it's go time, brother. Congratulations on having your store, having your page go live. We've been creating videos now for what, like a little over a week and, and you're live, you're ready to go. Everything looks professional. It looks beautiful. You have your 800 number, you have your professional domain name, email address. We're good to go, brother. It's got to, you got to feel good about that accomplishment because it's next to impossible if you don't have help and support. That's what these videos are all about to be able to accomplish so much in a very short amount of time. So that way we could get to that first sale to get to the hundred sales and then be able to scale those hundred sales into a business that actually does six figures in sales per month. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's cool, brother. We're, we're there tomorrow. You're, you're available 11 a.m. for the next video call, right? For me to yes, take yeah. your work in ads manager. Uh, just like you gave me access to your Shopify store. I'm going to need access to your ads manager. So I do that. after, after you do your work before the next call, I just want you to reach out to me on messenger so I can show you how to add me. You, you got to send an invite to me to have access to your page, access to your ads manager and your pixel. So that way I could go in and be a support system for you in helping you grow out your marketing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to go over that in a video right now. I'll just, I'll show you how to just send me an invite and, uh, that way I'll be able to jump in tomorrow and make the corrections of whatever you, whatever mistakes you have from what you do over the next 24 hours. Yes. Definitely. Excellent. Excellent. So good call. This was a little bit shorter video. It's only running about 40 minutes, uh, which is good because this is kind of like a, a, a bonus video from yesterday's video to kind of tie, tie up any loose ends, go over the, the final details of a store and a page to make sure you're ready for your launch. We've accomplished that with this video. I'm happy. The excitement begins this weekend on the calls coming up. So boom, Romeo, I'm excited for you, brother. I can't wait. I, I, for those that, that don't know, I actually set up Romeo Shopify store on my phone as well. So I could share in that excitement when his phone cha-chings, my phone will cha-ching. So that way I know the moment that Romeo gets his first sale, I can congratulate him and be there for you, brother, every step of the way. Anytime you need help, you simply message me. If you're in the inner circle watching these videos and you want to do this also, whoever got you in, communicate with that person through messenger as much as needed. Ask them a question because here's what's cool about it. When you're in the inner circle and you're asking them questions, not only will you learn that answer, but if they don't know, they're part of a community where they can ask someone else such as myself to get that answer. So that way they know it. So that way, once they get it, they get it. They don't have to keep asking someone else within the inner circle, uh, the answer to that they'll gain it. So ask questions to whoever got you into the inner circle, ask them questions through messenger. So that way you and them both learn this process together. If they don't already know the answer, that's how we all grow together 
makes a lot of sense. It's all about, you know, teaching others how to teach others to be successful within the e-commerce space. That's what Excel right now is all about. And I'm excited for you, Romeo. I'm excited for you, whoever is watching this video, because I know right now this is Romeo's time, but if you're watching this video, your time is coming next, could be days away. So I'm excited for you, whoever you are within the inner circle, reach out to me, say hi. But uh, Romeo, thanks for taking your time being on this video. It was a critical one because we tied up the loose ends and tomorrow we begin setting up marketing. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right, brother. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.